Hi, my rays of light, and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman, and today I'm going to be doing a reading on the one and only Miss Kelly Rowland, and this has been requested by some of you out there um, who is wanting to know a little bit about what I see for Kelly for, you know, um, the remainder of 2019 and beyond, whatever is coming through for her. Um, I do see immediately, you know, that um, there's a lot of facets and a lot of things that... Um, make Kelly Rowland who she is today. Back in the day, you know, when she was in the girl group, I feel like there was a lot of things that she didn't get to say to Beyonce or her father, Matthew. But there were some things, you know, deep within herself that I felt like she didn't like um, regarding the way that the group was being managed and the creative direction. And so now, you know, she is, um, she is in a good place. Um, and no longer, you know, having to go through what, you know, she went through in the group. And um, for those of you don't, that don't know who she is, she is a former member of Destiny's Child, which was one of the most top selling gr girl groups or girl, girl bands in the entire world. Um, and, you know, they these were African-American girls um, that were taking over the world. And we hadn't seen that since the Spice Girls. And, um, you know, they really took the torch and went with it and were emulated by thousands and well, millions of, you know, young fans and people from all over the world. Um, they became a household name. Um, and so, you know, she is someone who's really loved and known and appreciated in the world of music. And she will always be. She's really really talented and um you know when it came to the group itself you know i always felt like you know kelly should have been you know also at certain times like the um the lead person um to have like vocal control you know be the lead at times but um after the group you know and, and beyonce went hurt they all went their own way and kelly went into you know doing music and she did a, she had a couple of hits and some success early on but you know Beyonce had a lot more success um and we're not comparing both of them but I really feel like you know um for the purpose of this reading to understand where Kelly is and who she is now you know there's a lot of things that maybe um I feel like maybe Beyonce didn't really like lift her up um and you know had that collaboration that would have been like a hit um because I feel like both of them when they collaborated I mean you know, I don't remember like Beyonce coming out with one song that was really, you know, a uh, collaboration with Kelly that was a hit um, only when they were in their girl group, you know, in Destiny, Destiny's Child. So I feel like, you know, Kelly has thought about that. And even though I feel like they do get along still, I don't feel like there's bad blood per se. I don't feel like they're, you know, very close, close um, like they used to be when they were in the group. Um, and uh, I feel like Kelly didn't agree with a lot of the choices, you know, of some of the members leaving the group or uh, being removed from the group. You know, there was two other members that used to be in the group before Michelle came in. It was uh, it was Kelly and it was Beyonce and two other girls um, that ma made up Destiny's Child. It was a total group of four. And then when they left, those two girls left. It was just Beyonce, Kelly and Michelle. And um, so, yeah, I feel like Kelly, you know, had to endure a lot of that, but she's grown over the years and she, um, you know, I, w I don't feel like she's after the clout or the, you know, being super out there in music. You know, she is a mom now. She's matured. She's grown. Her passion is always going to be deeply rooted in um, music and you know that's going to be her career but I do get she's at a point right now in her life where she's growing and there's a lot of things that she's working on um, new projects and things like that I feel like there is a comeback and I hate to use the word comeback because she's never really left but there is something that she is working on in the music industry and I feel like it's going to be like an album so she hasn't like put that out yet it's coming I feel like it's coming and she's going to be collaborating with at least some people that are more relevant relevant um and i i also foresee that there would be some kind of album coming out that may be a group uh reuniting effort like um you know the the whole group of destiny's child reuniting and coming out with an album not the, the original members but you know her michelle and beyonce but I feel like there's also a lot of scrutiny over it and there it would be kind of, you know, um, it would be great for the fans that are still fans of Destiny's Child and fans of, you know, all these beautiful women. But 
Again, we'll have to see how that plays out. When it comes into her marriage and her love life, you know, I think there's a lot of scrutiny over whether or not Tim and her belong together. And what I get is that they are twin flames. And so um, I am getting that they had a lot of issues in their past life. Um, this is not the first time that they've shared their life together. So when they got together, I feel like they felt like very familiar. And that's typical of like, you know, of a twin flame relationship where you, you know, you meet someone in this lifetime and you've kind of just feel like you've known them forever and so i see like you know they would have had some issues in a past life and they were able to reunite in this life to kind of work that out and the product is their son you know they have a child together um but i don't see this relationship being a long-term like forever type of relationship i feel like there is a breaking point and there may be some issues already existent in the relationship um, and I feel like it's more with Tim than with Kelly. Um, Kelly, you know, is all about family or family oriented and being a mom and, you know, balancing work, career and mom, mommyhood. And when it comes to him, I feel like he's also immersed in his own world. And so um, the question is here, will he be faithful to Kelly? Because I feel like there are issues already that she may or may not be aware of. And these are things that are going to be coming out to the surface over the next two years or less. And I do see an imminent separation for Kelly and Tim. As much as, you know, they belong together and people feel like they belong together, I feel like Kelly is going to be given a second chance with someone else. Um, and kind of it's going to open her up a little bit more to her um her world um her higher self because i feel like with tim his vibration kind of lowers hers and even though they you know they're very loving and affectionate at times to one another and you know they're together for the sake of the child i feel like that's the main reason but eventually i feel like she's going to kind of wake up and she's going to see like you know there are things in him that she already sees that maybe she's just kind of like you know, trying to ignore it or put it off to the back burner as her imagination. But as time progresses, what I'm seeing is that there is, you know, these are going to become more prevalent. And um, it's just a shame because, you know, she's a beautiful and caring uh, lady. She has a great aura and there's a lot of positive things um, coming up for her in her career. Her career is not one that's going to go away anytime soon. You know, she's going to continue to work on music, on being on shows and um, so I see nothing but success for Kelly and her money uh, coming in, continuing to come in. But the drama more or less is going to be uh, centered around this relationship. And that's something that we're seeing a lot in Hollywood and a lot of these celebrity couples is that, you know, no matter how good you are or how faithful you are, um, a lot of these Hollywood couples are not destined to really last. And it's because of you know, the, the world that they're in, there's a lot of fast paced people, low vibing people, and, um, it kind of creates friction in a relationship. You know, they're being pulled for days at a time on, you know, a work schedule. One is in Barbados, maybe one is in, you know, in Vancouver. And so it's like, they're, they're never really together. And then when they do spend time together, it's like catch up, catch up, catch up. Uh, but I do see for her that, you know, she's trying to balance all of this. Um, at one point she did ask her, herself she wanted to just get out of this I feel and just stay as a you know a mom and maybe run a open a business a restaurant or something and kind of you know get away from all of this but I feel like you know that's not her path her path here was definitely to be a superstar that is her purpose here um, and to utilize music and her presence to help other people um, as much as she is a celebrity you know I feel like she is uh, very caring and she does work with charities that's what I'm getting and if she's not right now she is going to you know there's a lot of Kelly that we really don't um, see but you know, she loves traveling. She loves the finer things in life. She loves fashion. And she kind of, you know, uh, expresses herself through her hair, her makeup, her clothing. But in the inner part of Kelly, you know, what I'm also seeing is that there's a lot of um, unhappiness. And what this unhappiness stems from is the fact that you can have it all together. But we are ultimately our worst critic. And with her, I kind of feel like it's almost like, you know, she is happy being herself. But there are still, you know, um, issues with a body image, you know, and that can fall into many categories, you know, not feeling pretty enough, um, you know, we age. Um, and so there's a lot of pressure for her to kind of stay, you know, um, 
in her mind, you know, she needs to stay relevant, but she's always been a thin one. But, you know, it doesn't matter how thin you are, how fit some people, you know, they just see their body and they may not be entirely happy because that's their body. You know, you're they're not necessarily going to see what other people see in them. And so everybody sees a beautiful Kelly, but Kelly herself may see, you know, that there are some issues that she wants to work on or stretch marks, you know, make her feel unconfident to wear a bathing suit, etc. So these are the kind of, these are just examples, but of things that I'm seeing that are very real and things that she's going to be working on. Um, you know, I see like her path to healing and he healing, you know, a lot of these insecurities is, um, is something that she needs to work on and it's all fear and it's like working on the shadow self and coming to the realization of those imperfections and noticing that every imperfection is actually a perfection you know we are all built uniquely in in an in our own way body shape and type um and you know god created us that way for a reason and a lot of us are unhappy and we tweak our bodies, you know, we get implants, we get, you know, um, different kind of things done and there's nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, you know, you need to love yourself completely before you decide to get something like that. And so with her, I feel like that's what I'm seeing that, you know, she does have some darker uh, shadow selves, uh, shadow work that she's going to be doing um, to kind of get to a stronger version of herself to be able to help other people. I also feel like she's tired. Um, there's a lot of, um, you know, work, 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 promo, 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 things like that. So again, she is going to kind of, I feel like in this year in particular, before the year's over, there's going to be a brief period where she does take a hiatus. This could be around November and December, um, you know, up until the new year to kind of, you know, kind of recruit, recoup and, um, you know, stay more uh, centered. Um, but there's, uh, it's all about balance. And again, when, if, and when she does, if she does break up, you know, or they do break up and separate and divorce um, her and her husband, um, it's going to be something that's very devastational for her, but she is resilient and she will pull through. I also see that there are some issues within her family herself, especially with a mother figure. And I, I don't know how their relationship is, Kelly, with her mom. But again, I feel like her mom may be needing some um, help um, and maybe going through some health issues herself. So, um, there's going to be a lot of changes over the next six to eight months going into 2020 for her mom and um and, and you know, her, her to paying more attention to her her family and kind of being there for them um you know and again um she's going to be doing other projects i see her possibly writing you know uh maybe writing a book eventually um but there's a lot of other things that she's going to be doing around music um and it's just a great great time to be Kelly Rowland um, because she is considered a pioneer to a lot of the younger generations that have, you know, maybe their parents grew up on Destiny's Child or now, you know, they listen to because a lot of the younger generation I'm noticing um, is taking a deep appreciation for the 1990s and uh, the early 2000s for a lot of that music, you know, and um, so I see that, you know, she's going to always kind of be in the forefront uh, and more so known for Destiny's Child than a lot of her own success that she's had um, with, you know, her own albums and her own music. But again, we're going to see more of her and it's going to be very exciting. I'm very excited to see more of Kelly. Um, and, you know, I wish her the best of luck in her marriage um, and all the projects that she's working on. I will say when it comes to her money, just like any of the other celebrity readings that I've done, you know, she needs to pay attention to her money because there is a potential to, for it to, to take a hit in some way. And this could be someone mismanaging funds. And again, I'll just keep it at that for her, you know, to be very aware of that. Um, so I want to thank you all, all of the, you know, Beyonce fans, Kelly Rowland fans, destiny child uh, fans and ray of light fans and my rays of light thank you so much for allowing me to do this for you i really really appreciate it if you did like this reading please smash or hit that like button that thumbs up because the more people that do that it allows this video to get you know um seen by other chat you know on other people's um 
you know, recommendations. And also be sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel, as well as the notification bell icon. And if you want to support my channel, um, you can donate to it. It's uh, paypal.me, M-E, forward slash psychic medium ray. And this is also going to be listed in the description box below. Um, and any amount that you can contribute is appreciated by me um you can also uh book a private reading with me if you'd like at www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop and don't forget to follow me on instagram and facebook at psychic medium ray and i know it's, it's a mouthful <laughs> don't forget to check out my jewelry because i am now uh, adding rings to my shop uh, these are gemstone rings i have some amethyst and some rainbow moonstone rings that are coming out tonight. So blessings and love and light. Have an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world.